This is all about independence. It's all about literacy. It's all about including people. You know, when you show up for band practice and they're handing out the parts to everybody and all the sighted people get their print music and nobody hands you anything and says, well, we sent it to a transcriber. We'll probably be back here by Thanksgiving. That's not fun. You don't feel like you're included in the group. My name is Bill McCann, and I am the founder and president of Dancing Dots, and it's been a great adventure for the last 30 years. With our software and a little bit of lead time, you could walk into that band practice and somebody could say, okay, Bill, here are all your trumpet parts. Start practicing. Start memorizing. You're part of the group, and we want you to be here, and we want you to uh, do what we want everyone else to do, is learn to play the right notes at the right time. We have customers now in 52 countries for the Braille software, and I've actually got, been blessed to visit 21 or two of them, I think. So um, anyway, it's great to be traveling again, and it's great to be back here at ATIA. Will you show us that Braille display one more time? I want to yeah. get a zoom in on that and, sure. and show us a beautiful song on that, brother. Yeah. All right, check so it out. Here's the Braille display, just kind of quiet, but let's play the music back. Hey, it's been so fun hanging out with you, Bill. I'm gonna miss you so much. Hey, man. We're just getting started. My man. Zoom it in. Wow. Bill, what types of things can a person who's blind do in music because of this software? Well, I know it's in the education field, this software has enabled a lot of students to uh, enter regional competitions, uh, have the information. Uh, we just did a transcription for the Ohio Music Educators um, where it's a sight reading a piece and so they're going to give it to a student who shows up uh, for for the competition and this, this uh, student has never seen it before and she's going to be asked to take a look at it and sing it uh, in what we call solfeggio so where C is do and D is re and so forth and uh, yeah so we've also we also like I said that story about the kid using limelighter just to just to get included in the band and feel like he could handle it um, it's all about giving people opportunity and bringing people to the point where they can decide if they want to do it or not. Whereas a lot of times, unfortunately, people with visual disabilities or any kind of disabilities, somebody else tells you, well, you can't do this, right? But now you have the Braille score, you have the magnified print score. Now you can decide you know what, I don't feel like practicing today. You know what, I don't think I'm into this. Or, I love this, I'm going for it. And that's what Braille Music did for me because I was the only blind student in my, in my high school. And uh, I had wonderful volunteers who would sit down and manually crank out Braille, but it took weeks or months. But those guys got me to the point where I was able to practice and by the time I was in my senior year, I was the leader of the trumpet section, and then I auditioned for a number of music schools and went on to study at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. So it's all about giving people tools for success, and uh, you know that's what I feel best about, which you know giving the blind people that opportunity, and also giving tools to the sighted people because. What's cool about it is if you're sighted and you can use a computer to make a print score, you don't have to be a Braille expert. You just make me the print score. I click on launch Goodfield. Goodfield makes the Braille score. We can emboss it. We can send it to you electronically and you can look at it on a, on a paperless Braille device, but whatever. You get the information. We're not relying on these wonderful volunteers who are still wonderful but there aren't enough of them. And so you can produce the music in-house with our software instead of farming it out to someone and waiting and wondering, is it gonna be back in a week or a month? 